Hello everyone, today we're going to walk through a new AI video generation technique. We'll be discussing the AI Animation Trajectory Oriented Diffusion Transformer for video generation, which allows for control over motions and objects along a specific path. Previously, I talked about how to control motions in Kling AI and shared my experience with other AI video generators that lacked the ability to control object motion in generated results. Since then, Clean AI has released dynamic motion control features, and today we'll look at another open source framework that achieves this with Cog Video X. This new framework from Alibaba called Tora is a trajectory oriented diffusion transformer for video generation. What this framework does is clearly explain and address current limitations in AI video generation. The potential of transformer-based diffusion models for generating videos with controllable motions has been underexplored. This idea aligns with thoughts I've discussed in previous videos. I don't enjoy using AI video generators that feel like a gamble, where we input an image or text, hoping that the desired motion will emerge. Instead, I want control over the motion of an object, guiding it to move exactly as and when I want. This framework operates similarly to Clean AI's motion control, allowing objects to follow a designated path as demonstrated here in the demo, where objects follow a path within a short video clip. And I've created a few examples using this framework with Cogvideo X. For instance, in one example, a black and white video of an astronaut running on the moon, I was able to control the motion of the astronaut precisely. In another, I controlled an energy flow around a witch's magic wand. To set this up first, update your Cog Video X web wrapper in Comfy UI. Afterward, you'll find new custom nodes that allow the use of the Tora trajectory oriented guiding custom node in the Cog Video X wrapper. Once you've done this, you can load a workflow like the one I'm showing now. This workflow is a text to video setup with a defined text prompt and a default negative prompt included from the example workflow. The new Tora workflow connects with the Tora model, a different version of the Cog Video X5B parameter models that integrate with Tora for AI video generation. As you can see, I have a spline editor enabling me to guide the path of an object within the video scenes. For example, I want a simple way to move an object from left to right, but with some ups and downs, not fully in a straight line like this path. I'm going to show you using another text prompt displayed here. This is the new Tora encoder for trajectory. We inject the data of the control path from the spline editor, allowing the class video sampler to incorporate trajectory data to control the objects we create in the videos through this text prompt. This is the mechanism of the workflow where the text prompt directs the movement. Whichever object is moving will use the Tora encoded trajectory to follow the path created in the spline editor. So let's apply it to this path. Let's say, for example, a car driving on a battleground. Here's one of the demos I made using the trajectory, drawing this path with the spline editor. As you can see, the object's movement follows the path I created in the spline editor. This red dot indicates the path of the object's movement, and the generated result syncs with it as well. The text prompts here are controlling the truck's driving path out of the battlefield. The object moves along with the same path as the red dot, and I'm generating another version using a different seed number to explore variations in style for this result. So again, when using trajectory-oriented video generation, select the model from the downloaded trajectory models in the Cog Video X wrapper. Choose the Cog Video X 5B Tora model, and you'll be able to use the Tora encoded trajectory encoder once the data is passed to it. We are also combining it with the Cog Video X model, and in the model section, we're selecting the same Cog Video X 5B Tora model. We pass the pipeline data to both the sampler and the trajectory encoded custom nodes. Once that's done, we can decode the videos, which then generate the result for us here. This process also supports image to video generation, which we'll demonstrate later in this video. Here's a second example using the same prompts, but I've changed the seed number. This time we get a slightly different style where the 4x4 vehicle moves more dynamically across the battlefield background with the camera panning less. This allows the vehicle to move more distinctly along the spline editor path. As you can see, 
the red dot moves up and down along this path, creating a motion for the vehicles that follows the same trajectory. This is a pretty cool concept, allowing you to control an object's motion along any path you want, enabling the creation of more dynamic videos instead of static camera pans or the limited motions seen in previous AI video generations. Here, as I mentioned, we can use image to video, where we load an image into the workflow and resize it to match the resolution for CogVideo X. Once that's done, we can create a path using the spline editor and add more points. By pressing Ctrl on your keyboard and right-clicking, you can add more directional points along the arrows. As you can see here, I created another new path for the movement. In this example, we'll use an image, adding some magic energy around the elf character that follows the defined path. The energy should circle around the character along the path I've set. First, we define our text prompt and then we can generate it. Here's the result. You can see the magic energy following the red dot path, going up and looping back around the character along the path we set in the spline editor. Sometimes you'll notice slight morphing effects from the Cog Video X generation. To address this, I've added additional steps of unsampling and resampling with Animate Diff in this section, where we pass image frames from the COG Video X decoder to the Trajectory Object Movement Preview, which is the same video preview we just saw. The image frames also go through a second process in this workflow, using the Animate Diff sampling method, where unsampling is applied to maintain the same video style from the COG Video X generated video. Then, we resample once and use a detailer here. We can adjust the segment beatbox to refine details like hands, face, or the entire character. This method is something we've used often in previous Animate Diff workflows, which you can check out in previous videos. It works particularly well for hands and faces. Once it detects the bounding box of the hand or face, it passes those segments as a segment mask to the segment detailer custom node. In Animate Diff, we use this process to address issues here. For example, in cases where we see hand morphing, the effect appears as if magic energy is transforming the hand. This kind of morphing effect where the hand appears to change shape is common in AI video generation with effects like this. Well, it won't always be possible to fix everything with the Animate Diff segment detailer. Most of the time, it's effective for correcting areas like a character's hand or face where some morphing occurs. We can address those here. Lastly, I perform an upscale here. I won't aim for ultra-realism with these COG Video X AI video models as they aren't capable of producing truly realistic styles. Instead, I usually focus on hyper-realistic 3D or anime styles with the COG Video X AI models. Let's go through this workflow with a simple example. Here we have a spaceship, and I'll move it from right to left using the spline editor to draw the intended path up here. The spaceship will follow this direction, we'll add some text prompts, then start generating the result. Here's one example. Using the spline editor, I drew the path for the spaceship to fly from right to left. I also added some prompt editing to adjust the path midway. Of course, it doesn't follow the exact path, as I also prompted for the spaceship to land on Earth, adding to the scene. The result shows the spaceship landing on Earth. Then, we added Animate Diff for a bit more refinement. This time, I used a hyper-realistic style rather than an ultra-realistic one, so we get a slightly cartoonish effect. At the final stage, we apply upscaling. For anime, 3D, and hyper-realistic styles, I usually use a 4x ultra-sharp upscale. And that's essentially it for this generation. It looks pretty cool. Although, we could enhance some minor details further. For example, we could try another image. Let's use this astronaut image and add some controlled movement. With this image, we'll have the two astronaut characters walking on the moon, giving them a slow motion effect along the path defined in the spline editor with the same description in the text prompt. And we'll generate this now, then check it out afterward. Here's the result in Animate Diff. It creates a more futuristic style that's slightly different from the original image. As you can see, the red dot here controls the character's feet, moving from right to left in the last two seconds. After sampling, I tried to make it hyper-realistic, and it changed a bit since the denoise sampling didn't match the input image exactly. But after upscaling, it's clearer, showing the Earth in the background and the Moon's surface. This is the output of this video. I also created a few other sample examples where I controlled the magic energy, moving it from the top to the bottom, and then to the right side of the screen. 
With the magic energy following the path in the spline editor, sometimes it doesn't follow the exact path perfectly. So how does it work? It depends. But overall, the motions align using this method. By default, when you update your comfy UI, you'll have a text prompt here to make the bear move along this motion path. As you can see, the spline editor controls the bear's head, allowing it to look around in this motion. This is Tora for Cog Video X, using the spline editor to control motion. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.